Deadly fungus outbreaks spreading across skilled nursing facilities in multiple states. Nursing Home Administrator praises staff and community after a forced evacuation due to historic flooding. And a nursing home successfully neutralizes a bomb threat. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Health officials are warning nursing facilities to be on the lookout for a rapidly spreading drug-resistant disease. New York, Illinois, and New Jersey have been hit hardest by Candida auris, an emerging fungus that presents a global threat, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. C. auris is often resistant to drug treatment and can be particularly dangerous for sick older patients who have had invasive medical procedures. Illinois has experienced 154 cases so far, with the vast majority occurring in skilled nursing facilities. The fungus is often found on individual skin and can be spread through contact and contaminated people or surfaces. One third of patients die from fungus when it reaches their blood, heart, or brain. Those recovering from hard to heal wounds are more susceptible to the infection. The CDC urges caregivers to clean their hands with soap and water or sanitizers both before and after touching patients and medical devices. And if a resident is colonized or infected with the fungus, he or she should be housed in a single room if possible and placed on contact precautions. New York and New Jersey have reported 309 and 104 cases in those states, respectively. The administrator of one Nebraska nursing home is applauding the actions of his staff and community after the facility was forced to evacuate last month in the face of historic flooding. On March 12th, Premier States of Pierce, Nebraska, Administrator Christian Koenig received word from, from city officials about impending heavy rains. That initiated the nursing home's three-step emergency plan, which included notifying staffers at home that the facility may need extra help and gathering necessary documents and supplies to maintain care. As heavy rain started to fall the next day, workers leapt into action to start the process of moving residents. The historic flooding forced at least 12 other long-term care facilities to evacuate in northeast Nebraska. They had looked to move residents to a nursing home about 15 miles northeast in Norfolk, Nebraska, which is in the process of closing. But with the highway impassable, they instead sent residents to a nearby public auditorium. Residents were instructed to place clothing and other necessities into pillowcases. Mattresses were moved to the auditorium and staffers protected left behind belongings by placing them higher up from the ground. Koning said he was proud of how employees came together to put the plan in play. The facility was still dry by the time everyone got out, but floodwaters eventually rose about 16 inches at the highest point in the building. Laborers have been working to get the skilled nursing facility back into shape, and Koning said he hoped residents would be back in June. They were eventually transported from the auditorium to the closing Norfolk home after waters had receded. We'll be back right after this break. Want a better way to invest in yourself as a CNA? And for only 10 cents per day, there's no better way to spend your daily dime. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Click on membership, fill out a few boxes, submit, and you're in. With the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, you can begin your journey. With these great benefits that include 12 hours of education with the NACA Virtual Campus of Care, our monthly newsletter, the NACA Edge, will come straight to your email with a special recognition to you. Registration discount to CNA Fest, NACA's annual CNA gathering just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. 10% off anything in the NACA Pro Shop. CNA TV, our YouTube channel that focuses on topics, current events that pertain to what a CNA is all about, and much more. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Everyone is safe at a Connecticut nursing facility following a bomb scare last Tuesday, but officials at the center say they have learned from the matter and are establishing new lockdown procedures. A 67-year-old employee stormed out of a contentious union meeting about a possible strike vote, telling onlookers, quote, I'm wearing a vest and I'm about to push the button. 
Patrick Shepard then left, but the facility touch points at Manchester promptly locked down his top floors and kept the first level open for police. Police responded to the scene and eventually detained Shepard, finding no weapons on his person or in his vehicle. He's been charged with first-degree threatening and breach of peace. Shepard insisted that he was only making an analogy and no intent to harm anyone. The 131-bed skilled nursing and rehab facility is working to establish new lockdown procedures following the ordeal. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.